CNN anchor Chris Cuomo looked into opposition research on his brother Andrew Cuomo's sexual misconduct accusers. This is according to new documents that were released by New York's Attorney General Letitia James. And we have some evidence of text messages that Cuomo had sent to members of Andrew Cuomo's team. They were coordinating and how to respond to the sexual misconduct allegations and other issues issues that former Governor Cuomo was dealing with. Now text messages between the CNN journalist and top Cuomo aide Melissa DeRosa show that Chris Cuomo offered to draft statements for his brother to use to deny misconduct, demanded more influence over the strategy and even researched potential news coverage and accusers for the governor's office. Um, also, the uh, newly released messages show that Chris Cuomo was uh, deeply immersed in an effort to track down information about his brother's accusers. So for instance, here's some of the text messages. He writes, I have a lead on the wedding girl. He wrote that to DeRosa on March 4th, an apparent reference to Anna Roosh, uh, who accused the governor of touching her improperly at a wedding in a story published by the New York Times on March 1st. Chris Cuomo also railed against the governor's top aide for not looping him and other outside advisors into more aspects of the response uh, to the accusations. I'll give you those details in a second, Cenk, go ahead. Anna, we got breaking news as we're doing this story. CNN has just suspended Chris Cuomo indefinitely. So that just happened as we were talking, and and so they are beginning to take action. You could tell from their equivocal statements that they were headed in this direction. I was going to tell you that later in the story, but boom, it's already happened. So I have strong thoughts about whether they should have done that, but I want to let Anna tell the rest of the story and then come back and tell you. Now I'll give you a warning ahead of time. I I am slightly biased in favor of Chris Cuomo. Uh, But I think that the number one problem isn't Cuomo, it's all of mainstream media. But I wanna get into that in a second, but first the details. All right, so some more details for you guys. Um, So again, he uh, was irritated with the former governor's top aide because uh, he wanted to be more involved in the strategy uh, to respond to the accusations. Uh, He said something along the lines of, well actually let me give you his exact tweet, uh, text. He said, you need to trust me, Liz and Jeff more. He writes in one message to DeRosa, not these other people, we are making mistakes we can't afford. And believe it or not, based on these documents, it gets worse. On March 12th, for instance, he sent DeRosa the draft of a never released statement for his brother to use to explain why he cannot and will not resign the governorship. Cuomo advised his older brother to say that he understands why accusations were being made, referring to the charges as acts of political warfare. He wrote that the then governor should say that he understands the conformity that can be forced by cancel culture. No resign, no resign, no resign, Cuomo writes in one message to DeRosa. And there's more, but Cenk, why don't you jump in? Yeah, okay, so first, like I said earlier, I'm slightly biased in favor of Chris Cuomo. Why? Because he was a very rare, if not the only cable news anchor that actually heard out progressives. You can get on MSNBC as a progressive, no chance, okay? But but Cuomo would have you on every once in a while. Is he a saint in that regard? Absolutely not. Is he a progressive? Absolutely not. He's very centrist. You could tell in the comments, like talking about woke culture, cancel culture, etc. You hear it on the show all the time. I think he is in the same group think as mainstream media. You know, corporate positions are moderate and awesome and wonderful. But at least he had the decency for some period of time to go, let's hear the progressive position, which almost no one else on cable news does. So I want to give him credit there and lay out my bias there in his favor. Now, at the same time, I can't stand his brother. I think Andrew Cuomo was the prototypical corporate politician who was intensely corrupt, let alone the sexual harassment charges. But we were telling you about his corruption for literally decades. We we would show you instance after instance as the rest of the mainstream media celebrated Andrew Cuomo. So I got no love for Andrew Cuomo at all, okay? And especially on these charges. Should anyone have defended him? Well, it depends on the facts, and the facts were brutal against Andrew Cuomo. So no, they shouldn't have. Now, do I get that why Chris defended his brother? Of course, we all do, right? Because it's his brother. 
And he said it, and the reason here, my substantive defense is, he was at least honest about it. Mm. Whereas the rest of mainstream media supports every corporate politician, by the way, including Andrew Cuomo, without ever questioning them and are never honest about their bias, never. So they turned on him because of the sexual harassment allegations. But before it was, oh, Andrew Cuomo is the best. Oh, maybe Andrew Cuomo should run instead of Biden. Maybe they should put Cuomo in his place. Oh, Cuomo is this, Cuomo is that. Meanwhile, we already knew at that point, he'd already shut down a commission to investigate corruption once they started looking into his corruption. And we can go on, there's dozens of instances of Andrew Cuomo's corruption that all of media, including CNN, including CNN, completely ignored. They were giant fans and, and basically did propaganda and advertising and marketing for Andrew Cuomo. Now they turn around and go, it was his brother's fault. Not buying it, not buying it. He was the only one who was actually honest. Obviously, I'm on my brother's side here and he did not cover it. Can you still cross lines? Yes. And he did. Did he? Here. Did he? That's an interesting question. No, I don't even think it's a question. He absolutely did. He used his media contacts, okay, which of course he has uh, had access to as a result of his job as an anchor on CNN to help his brother out, right? Hitting up reporters, uh, you know, if they maybe covered his brother in a way he didn't like. You know, he he would hit hit them up and ask some questions, uh, trying to dig up dirt on the accusers here. No, I mean, look, I, I don't care if he covered his brother on his show or not. Uh, obviously, he can't do that, and he didn't do that. But he used his position of power to help defend his brother and dig up dirt on the women who accused his brother of sexual misconduct allegations. I don't care if he had progressives on, I don't care if he had us on very briefly during the Democratic primaries. I don't care about any of that. What I care about is what does he do with his power and clearly in this position of power while he wasn't covering the story on his show, he was still using that position of power in order to defend the indefensible. So here's where I think a couple of lines are. One, did you do oppo research on a victim? That's that's a line that should definitely not be crossed, right? And so I read with great care what they said he did. And 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 that's why I think it's debatable and I and I'm I'm curious what you guys think. I, I hear you and on your position. So the, the, what he did was he called other people to find out if Ronan Farrow was going to publish a piece and if it was going to include more than the first accuser. So nowhere, as far as I saw, did he then go to reporters and say the accusers are no good, here's their problems, here's their background. If he'd done that, that clearly crosses the line. But it doesn't appear that he did that. Now, you could agree with Anna that. No, just the very fact of calling other reporters crosses the line, partly because you're an anchor on CNN. That is a very, very coveted position, and a lot of people want to go on CNN. So if they think that they, you know, you're asking for a favor, that puts people in an awkward spot, right? The the part a journalist, Jank, a jur like the only real role. I know that we forget, right? Because we don't really have many journalists who do this. The only real role for journalists is to hold people in positions of power accountable. That is the only real function for journalism, right? We're talking about the, at the time, governor of New York who has engaged in misconduct, not just sexual misconduct, but also the kind of misconduct that led to unnecessary deaths in nursing homes because he forced the nursing homes in the state of New York to take in elderly coronavirus patients who still had coronavirus, okay? No, I'm sorry, if you're gonna call yourself a journalist while simultaneously helping out your brother in a position of power behind the scenes, knowing full well that he has committed gross injustice in various cases, whether it be sexual misconduct or these nursing homes, you're not a journalist, you have no role as a primetime anchor on any news show. Yeah, no, I, look, uh, the reason why I keep sticking out, 
Look, guys, Cuomo's probably gone, okay? So it does, I mean, if they used to get suspended indefinitely, it's super hard to come back from that. So this is not a conversation about, oh boy, wouldn't it be great to be on Cuomo's show? He hasn't had us on since the minute Bernie Sanders lost the chance of being on. So I don't want you to think that it's personal in that sense. I'm being overly careful about telling you about our bias. As soon as Bernie Sanders lost his chance, everybody wiped out every progressive on television, okay? I don't so, have a bias, I don't care about going on CNN yeah, at all. Zero no, percent. I mean, look at us, we've ripped CNN a thousand times, even just on this one show. But I'm telling you what my real opinions are, okay? So in, in this case, look, he did, he did not cover uh, Cuomo when he ran in, when Andrew Cuomo ran into these controversies, right? But he did cover Andrew Cuomo during coronavirus and gave him enormous positive coverage. But again, so did the rest of the media, overflowing praise for Andrew Cuomo. And here we are, we're screaming, the guy does everything for his donors. Look at what he did for his, the real estate interest in New York. It's so obvious and it's provable and we've shown it to you. Yet none of them would cover it. And they would pretend to be neutral and objective as they kissed Andrew Cuomo's ass 24 seven. And they not only let Chris do those segments supporting Andrew Cuomo during coronavirus, they encouraged them to do it. Now they turn around and go, it turns out there's gambling in this establishment. They're just shocked. No, I'm okay with them suspending Chris Cuomo if they suspend everyone else at the network for always supporting corporate politicians and never at least having the decency to be honest about it. Chris Cuomo was honest about supporting his brother. The rest of that network and the rest of mainstream media is never honest about supporting corporate politicians and always being against both the right wing and the left wing. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.